The Battle of Waitaichno took place on October 1, 1939 near the village of Waitaichno near Wodawa in Poland. It was a struggle between the Polish forces of the Border Defense Corps of General Wilhelm Orlik Rukomon, and the Soviet Red Army during the invasion of Poland. After the Battle of Sak on September 28, the Polish commander decided to cross the Bug River and continue the fight there. After a short rest, on September 30 the Poles had crossed the river. Although largely victorious in most of the fights against the Soviets, the Polish unit was reduced to merely 3,000 men and was lacking heavy equipment and ammunition. In addition, most of the soldiers of the Border Defense Corps had been forced to cross large parts of Poland, with the average unit crossing almost 500 kilometers in two weeks. After crossing the Wadawa Troniki Road, shortly after 1 a.m. on October 1, the Polish unit was attacked by a tank unit of the Soviet 45th Rifle Division. Polish Bofors 37mm guns opened fire at close range and the Soviet unit withdrew losing four T-26 tanks. Soon after daybreak the Soviets returned, this time with the majority of 45th Division's units. The Soviets, expecting the Polish unit to be completely rooted and composed entirely of officers, started a frontal assault on the village of Wojtyczno. However, the Polish Tabers crossed the road into the forest behind the village and placed artillery posts there, which enabled the defending Poles to hold their positions. The struggle for the village continued, with both sides suffering heavy losses. At 9 a.m. the Polish 75mm artillery had no more than 60 shells left and the howitzers had not more than 10 per barrel. To lessen the enemy pressure on the center of the Polish units, General Wilhelm Orlik Rukomon ordered the Polesia battalion to attack the left flank of the enemy. However, the soldiers were too tired to start the assault, and most of them simply declined to follow the order. Commander of the Sarni Regiment, Colonel Nikodem Sulik, reported that the Polish defenses were getting weaker with every hour and with all probability the battle would end by dawn with a complete Polish defeat. At 10.30 a war council was held and it was decided that the only option for his men to survive was to withdraw, divide the unit onto smaller detachments and try to break through to the units of independent operational group, Polesia fighting nearby. At noon the Polish units successfully withdrew to the forests. Most of them joined the other Polish unit, while General Orlik Rukomon found his way to Great Britain through Lithuania and Sweden.